it's just real, real fast. The wheels come off. Hey, that's just one of those things, right? I, I mean, you did a couple of kills. There's five seconds left at P1. You have a great setup at P2. Maybe the comms are off. Someone's not on the hill. Ghosty gives something up, and then it's three, four dead. You went starting to pop off, and these are those little mistakes hurting LADs at the moment. Yeah, Glacier Gwen, I think, get all four. It's now five in a row for Gwen, as he is hitting right now. Gwen popping the triple. TJ there with a the fourth, and once again, the squad is wiped. If you are Thebes, up 20 points, seven in a row for Gwen. Streak to work with, and you are feeling good. Yeah, you're feeling great, uh, unless you are the LADs. But he's going to line Bro. up two more. That is nine. He started 0-3, trying to find number 10. Yossi with a nice gunfight win, but P2 is done. Now over to P3. It's Carolina still in control. Nice two-piece there from Ghosty. Trophies are down. A chance now for LADs to cut this lead if they can find the rest of this time. Already done a you know pretty solid job so far. Did about 15 to, to 20 seconds. Still 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, no, he wanted to really get the rest of this. The way this was starting to come off the wheels early. Felony is going to chow right in. No, don't let him do it. He slides in. He's able to get both. Yeah, it's about 15 seconds, but. If you were thieves, you really felt that's where the rally was going to come. Nicely, the lock pop on that south side of the minimap is Clayster and Win. Clayster and Win both kind of have them trapped top side, finding the kills. Rotated across early will be TJ will be in next. He's got Clayster coming over to help. Him. And that's kind of the issue, right? With allowing fellow to get that multi kill, you, they know where you're spawning up. Now you're kind of trapped all the way on the right side of the map. They try to take the long route near that top side. And, I mean, it just doesn't work out. They get cut down, but Carol. fired up and the guys are clicking. I, I mean, it's just a lot different, right? You have Clay on one side, Fellow on the other. But during all of that, Wind has continued. He is triple positive, 21 and 7. He said he wanted to step it up from his performance yesterday. We saw it early on. That has not slowed down throughout this game. It's, they have near a 100 point lead. And again, for Thieves, just a slaying, not on point, but it's really when the slaying is happening for Carolina, right? Just feels like rotation gunfights are going their way. Near the end of the hills, you get them spawning out everything that they want. And this is just the, the CDL at times. Like, <laughs> it's just so competitive. Teams that look to be an embarrassment a week ago suddenly looking like a threat. Carolina is firing in those situations where they need the key kills with five or ten seconds left on our point They are getting them the comps are flowing the blood is flowing Carolina looking good They are but some solid time here for All right, everybody clay able to hit his shots mid map You're up over the 200 point mark and you are rolling still a lead almost back up to 100 yeah, I mean you have multiple trophies down, but it's that first pick from fellow near the back, and then it starts just the dominoes. Everyone gets taken down from LADs. Everyone having a moment. This time it is TJ with a five in a row. I think he finds a number six. The multi-kill pops up as they're up to 225. So another cruise as the Carolina Royal Ravens in control. Yeah, now they have been bodying Thieves from the get-go. Thieves just cannot find a foothold within this one, as it is all Ravens. Now just 10 points to go. Pistol, why not settle this situation down for now, still in this game? Yeah, it's probably the best little sequence you've had. Just is it going to be too little too late since you only need six points for Carolina? You got four in a row for Cami, three in a row for Ghosty. Ghosty has been doing his thing throughout. He's up to a minute in the hard point. 26 in 20 with that. But as the next hard point gets ready to go, I mean, a lot of pressure on Afro with the rotation coming across. They're going to fight to get it inside, but I don't think it's going to be enough. That's not going to quite get the victory. They're going to still be two points short, make it one. They do get the tick, and they are. The game. And when you're a team that's been struggling. Jay and Clay just watching Burger. Maybe if you're a Boston or New York fan wondering where, where's our game, LADs, they, uh, yeah, their compound had some power issues, so we are uh, a little bit delayed today on broadcast into this map two of our, our first match still. So still plenty of Call of Duty left. Here we get some big ones today. Slide in, Afro with the Chow, able to take out Gwen. And that first blood is now up. Afro, can you do it again? Nice little shoulder, get the info, then just sends it. Ah. Nice trade though. Yes, at least you have the second player there. First, I was like, Afro's gonna get caught the, with that one. TJ sends on forward, he gets shut down. Josie gonna get top three, maybe wait for Cammy and Joe to work the flank. Ghosty hit some lovely shots there.
put it into a three versus one. Clay just it's like, let me up. Finally able to mantle up, now getting tagged from the right, not able to take the fight in front of him. And it's another round for Thieves as they now find some separation. Again, very similar where Cammy's up top as he throws a trophy down. This time, though, you got Afro pushed up in the corner. And again, it's a bit of a gamble. You're hoping for one, maybe you get two. But the worst case scenario, someone checks that corner and he gets zero kills, right? Then LA Thieves would be put into a hole, but it's forced into a three on three as that happens. Ghosty gets into that corner, watches the cross of the bomb. And that's when they really solidify the round. Back and forth, bomb not down yet. Now the plunge getting down. Yeah, just want to make sure, like, they have a little bit of info, probably. You don't get caught in the 2v1 while someone's planting. Now they can get it down clean and work to get into their the setup. Plane. They double drop out of the backside. That's going to work out, at least for now, to force a one on two. Now you can just peek it, but he's got a smoke. TJ has this smoke, and well, maybe they line up with, with Clay. And yeah, just need now stuns. Nade's going to be very strong on this first push for the defensive players if they can get there. As Joe with the snap. The prone and he is staying. Have been able to stop the clock here at 59 seconds. As Cammy's working to get picks, Ghosty one down dropping. One player kind of working underneath to try and make a play. Came at your teammate. This will get a burst into him with the pistol. Little slide out and chow. Clay just kind of slowly peeks there. Pistol hits. Is enough damage in to get that trade? Joe Deceives can't quite pop up in time, but they he's just going to lay. Prone on the site. Joe Deceives cutting him down. They fly on four. Just bleeding the clock. Okay, you've already got a minute off of this. Nice little snap there for Gwen. He's got one underneath. He's on another four streak. Make it five. Gwen's dancing. And he'll stop the clock in a minute. Work towards this second tick. Nice shots again as he's on six in a row. Gwen, he's hitting right now. Got a streak to work with as well. I don't know what he's going to do with four bullets in this club, but there's the reload. <laughs> Now you get this time done, time added on. But now the difficult part, right? You have LA Thieves just controlling this back blue area. Near P4. And meanwhile, Ghosty's all the way up River Street, just controlling around those Humvees. So they're kind of forced to death. Where Ghosty is in position, they'll be able to pick up that kill. That's Clay should be able to turn back on the street. Now you got two people onto the site. Now you've got a real chance to do some damage on this objective. Yeah, no trophy is down though, so that comms gonna be given to Joe Deceives and his teammates. See the stuns are connecting, the nades are hitting. Josie's gonna put one in there, and that will allow Kami to hit the pinch. And before that, I didn't see if Clay spawned like near Humvees or if he somehow got around Josie. Either way, it was a weird situation where Josie was caught off guard. Clay being behind him, but yeah, I think still he... able to deal with it. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure if he like spawned for up the A Street or. Well, I saw him snap back and get yeah, the we've kill. Seen it a couple of times where you spawn Humvees, but it's very, very rare. I mean, that's the position you get to defensively where it's at. I, there's some weird spawns at times, it seems like. Yeah. Teammates here to work with him. Ghosty's going to win a one-on-one -on -one with the pistol on the other side of it. So he's going to split the defense here a bit. Ghosty was almost able to get into A. I thought on the minimap he was going to be able to get across, but he couldn't quite get through. And, and then at that point, you're just hoping Ghosty could stay alive. Maybe a, a play can be made as a transition over, but B about to be complete for LA Thieves. Wind does take down Josie. Nice shots out of TJ on, on to Camby, but now starts that sort of slow push for LAD. So they had to start staying alive middle of the map to start these pushes. Yeah, the Ghosty just been going A Street, taking taking a fight, A Street, taking a fight kind of over and over again. Trying to alleviate maybe some of the pressure from the rest of the squad. But yeah, now you gotta work this. Yeah, at least keeping it open, right? Just if Ro gets behind him and nobody picks up mid-cut while while fellow is kind of mid-tank. They're thinking nobody can get through courtyard. Nothing bad can happen. And well, the timing just goes the way of Afro. He gets two freebies. You're now on five in a row from Cammy. He's up to 28. Gwyn, in a desperation, calls in the crews, but they have to go to at least get on one of these objectives. Afro's still waiting around over towards B. Yeah, no, this has been a big defensive hold. Afro wins another, almost with a snap back, but Gwen able to get the kill. Eight seconds left to go, and you've got to get on it. Usually these desperation times, Woo. typically we'll see the minute extension more often than not. Not usually do you see the full shutdown come through, and that should be the case here. Behind Gwen's multi potential, but sort of like, I guess I'm wondering if it'll happen kind of with Rocker. Sort of like um, things just start to click kind of. You get some solid wins. 
Um, Brock, our team that was you know, struggling so much, and they win three over the course of the weekend, which was wait, well, the last two weekends? Last two. Yeah, last two, which was really, really impressive stuff. I keep kind of playing a bit better, and Caroline's doing through. a good job so far. Got there is one behind enemy lines, though. Is Joe Deceive going to be able to play spoiler? And I like that from Joe. Finds the first kill and then just waits. Waits for his teammates to get pushed up. Does it overextend to get picked? But then on the push, Clay's going to be on a five spree, so you disrupt some time. Yeah, a couple seconds. Honestly, you dealt with that pretty well. Uh, there was a maybe like three seconds of contest. It really was not bad. You'll get the rest of it. This will get you what? Uh, so yeah, you get about 50, 50 seconds from that hard point, which is what you really needed to get going in this. And you claw yourself right back into the game. Now we start to focus on the next hard point. It's Afro winning gunfights inside. We take a look at the beautiful fountain of youth. So it's the first couple of hills all for LA Thieves. Now Carolina looking to get three in a row as they take the lead. Big lean change here now for Carolina. The Joe deceives again. We will go onto the vending machine. He goes as uh, it's Cammy getting all the kills though for him in front. He will finally end up dropping. Afro with two, Cammy with two. They'll take him out. Back in front go LA Thieves. His ghost, he looks for his next point of attack. He had 20 seconds remaining on the hard point. It's crisp headshots once again for Cammy. It looks like they, maybe they know someone got through the top side. That was Gwyn, right? We were on board with Ghosty. He got pushed on through towards Junk and maybe just had maybe that timing. But LA Thieves now with a 20 point lead trying to close this series out. Let's go to a listen in with Thieves. Thieves, market Thieves, let's go. Thieves. Uh, I'm 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 oh, wait, no, you're looking for. Uh, Stop it, fellow. Fellow, fellow, yeah. I promise you, Stop yeah, yeah. it, I'm needing I'm going to Slice, one shot. Hang in, guys. Dark, 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 close dark already. Bring up, bring up, close dark, weak, close dark, weak. I got dark, dark, dark. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm fellow boss, fellow boss. I saw him on the bus. There was a frustrating moment there for Thieves. You kind of heard Ghost say, let's take our routes, take our routes. Joe, break it down from that point. Yeah, I mean, they just go through the middle of the map. They're able to find two kills inside of red, and then just knowing the comms, they know the last two players alive, right? Calling out names. They know their spots, able to break on through, but it's a quick response once again from the Ravens is they're not going to have a 30-point lead. So you get the break if you were LADs you were looking for early on in the hill, but immediately Ravens just fight right back. So great job by them, and Clay has gotten going. I think right during the listen, he hit another five spree before P2 popped. So this man going off 23 and 12. Yeah, he has uh, been playing so, so well these last couple of days. Love to see it. It's a flurry of kills in the point. Afro and Ghosty walk away with the most recent two, and it'll be Thieves onto the point early, but now you're down nearly 100. What was such a close game? I'm sure we'll see a flow chart after this one, but it's another killing spree for Clay. Another five in a row. That's what, that's four of his last, like, six deaths or something. Like, it's been pretty spectacular out of Clay. Streak gets called in. Cammy's going to get ripped. Afro's still inside, but the trade will be there, so. You're kind of preventing any kind of late gasp effort here from Thieves. And then they use that cruise to get on the hill. But that's going to be all four dead. All the rivals, everyone's starting to pull out an extra one, maybe all four for P4. And then over towards P5, you do have Cammy once again kind of in a position, locking down Cafe. There's a couple of a break opportunities. No, 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 but like, it just looks so it's good. Character model? It looks yeah. so good from Cammy's POV. Like, they don't know I'm here. Three in a row for Cammy as he makes the clutch. He's him putting the code. Is he the same code every year? The Da Vinci code. That's a good question, Joe. I don't know. The rival shots they hit for TJ. They're deep, but able to connect. Woo! And then he gets the second one snapping back. TJ Haley coming up big. I mean, Cammy's just hoping not to get stunned there, right? The trophies are down. Give him three. TJ going to try to find another ace. The first blood on a Cammy was pivotal. It's them so much info. Not going to find the A for Zay. So this round on Ghosty for now. He's got eyes, but he can just see the fingertips for now. Just looking for an angle to stop it. He gets him off the plant, but he's going to get killed. Uh, I think he got back to it. Yeah, he, he did. He did. He did. He did. Just in the nick of time. Got back to it. Now it's a 1v2 for Afro. Now in this position known. Because we have red dots in this game. If that was just a, like Ghosty got those tags in like a half second later, he might be okay. But almost the same exact play we just saw from the Ravens. But you have nobody bottom P4. So Smoke goes down. Cafe control over to LA Thieves. Now they're just going to have to work this bomb plan. Yeah, I mean, 
A is all theirs. We'll keep an eye on number five. That, you're not going to expect that. That is just such. He's so forward so quickly into the round. ghosty has got a chance to get in behind enemy lines. Not sure it's going to matter, actually. His teammates are getting all of the kills. This looks like we're at a 4 4 score line here in a second. Joe Deceives gets the plant, gets out. Ghosty finally does get involved, and he's able to get the kill. Woo! The wall heady. It's Afro again. Is that the rival again in his hand, just hitting shots? But still, I mean, nice. I mean, adjustments on LA Thieves. Oh, yeah. Nice. I mean, they were down 4 1. It was coming off. You're down 4 1, and you're just, I don't know, just Ooh. the way this Ooh. stuff is. You're kind of like, I let this man do what he wants right now, <laughs> the way he's playing. But you did get the first blood. Now you put it into a 3v3. But you got the bomb planted. Now the pressure on to Royal Ravens to try and work this defuse. Joe Deceives. Shots on point. Nade blowing up everything. Cammy hitting one guy up. It's Clay last alive, and he is gone. And Afro and LA Thieves take over, being down one to four in this map five to win it six four. That's five straight rounds. It was a different Thieves team once they got going. Yeah, I mean, props to them. I, I've been in that spot. It's not easy to do. Rally the comms, get everybody on point, but Afro got going. A ton of first bloods, but they were just quick and decisive with some of their strat strats throughout those rounds, they had the right reads. He had 12 kills.